Hey, welcome back to Duckman Cycles and VW Garage. I'm your host, the Duckman. <laughs> We're back today with my 1956 Beetle. Yes, and I'm not working on any one thing specific. Uh, today, I'm actually just doing a bunch of uh, welding around different spots, and you can see I've already gotten myself kind of dirty because I've been um, poking around up inside of the door here doing some of the welding to this guy. Uh, this door and these hinges need to be finished and finalized. And uh, well, it was a matter of just filling in all the little holes around the area and getting these little boxes welded in from the backside. These doors, you would think it's just stamped sheet metal and a stamped sheet metal here and then they pinched it along here, but that's not true. There's actually a piece of sheet metal that runs through the inside that's much thicker and much heavier. Put my finger in here, it comes almost up to the edge of this circle and it stops, stops right about here. So from about here to here, there's this extra reinforced area for the stock hinge to go into. And my idea was to use that so that way my box can weld to that. And that way all that additional strength that's here in the corner of the door should be sufficient enough to make it work. And the same goes down here in the, in the lower. Uh, that piece of metal actually ends somewhere in the middle of this box though. What I would like to do is add a piece of angle iron or something on the inside of here, tack it in, in a few spots and weld it to this box. And we'll see how far I get with that today. Probably won't happen, but I am going to do that down, down the road for sure. Um, as far as that's concerned, once we've got that about finished, I need to finish welding up uh, the front apron on this car also. That will probably be a video of its own, however. 
You can see down there is the original 1956 apron. We're going to get into that when we get into that, but there's some stuff that needs to come off of that that needs to go onto the, uh, the new apron that I've got. And then, lastly, we need to get into this area here and finish welding in these hinges. Uh, just like in the door, there's a big reinforced piece that's heavier gauge metal that's behind the outer skin. And so far, I've been able to weld it in from the top. I've been able to weld it in sort of along what would be my left side from where I'm facing now in the inside. Uh, on the bottom here, I've only been able to get to the top and the, the outer edges here. Good thing about the outer edges is all these skins come together and form one sheet. So when I welded uh, both the hinge and the, both the hinge, uh, both pieces of metal and the hinge all together from the outside here, they all managed to, to, to cop through the same layer with one weld. So that worked out really, really nicely. But I do have to get in here, I have to patch this hole. In addition to that, I have to come in this way and get some welds in. From the top, it shouldn't be too hard. I'll make the patch from the inside up underneath the hood. But in the bottom, however, there's no way for me to get in there without cutting a hole someplace. And I think what I have figured out what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a little slit here, a little slit here, and I'm just going to fold the outer skin out of the way. And I'll make my patch for the inside. I don't even know if you can see that. Maybe you can, maybe you can't. But yeah, there's another piece of metal that's behind there. It's about an inch, inch in here, up to my first knuckle roughly. I'm just about touching it now. It also needs a patch. And need some welding all the way around four four corners of that rectangular patch. And then I gotta come in here and patch in these and weld this all together. And then I'll fold the skin back, close it all up, and weld the outside of it. Uh, all in all, it's pretty strong the way it is. But you did see that there was a little bit of flexing that we were experiencing. And it was both in the hinges. How the hell did that happen? <laughs> and it was both in the hinges in the door, as well as the hinges in the A-pillar here. In addition to the front quarter panel here, and this, this was tremendous because you remember I had to put these two slits in here to fold this piece out of the way so I could drop in the hinge pack. Uh, without that done, there was no way that would have been possible without cutting everything uh, to pieces and inserting it little by little. But this has since been welded back together. You can see I patched that. I did that on one of my times uh, where I was working this week and whenever I found a free hour, I did a little patching here and there. This car needs a, a lot of little patches here and there, a little welding here and there. I notice I missed a spot over here. Uh, there's a hole over here I need to fill in yet. So there's still some stuff that I need to run around this car that I need to do before I get to Earl. And the last thing that I need to do, the biggest project of all, is installing the hidden hinges on the driver's side. But I'm not gonna touch that until this side is done. I think I've weakened the chassis enough by putting all these cuts and slits in here. So let's not whack that side apart until this is straight. And in addition, when I get this done, I'll be able to have learned from it, so that way I know everything that that side's going to require for me to finish it. So that's where we're at. That's what we're gonna do today. So as always, you guys, if you like what I do here, licky likey, comment, subscribe, pluck that dingle belly day. You get updates every time that I upload a new video. And don't forget to check out a couple of different things. Duckshit.net is my website for all of my different social media links. You'll also find duckshit.net forward slash store. And I'll put the link here in the bottom. It's also down below in my video description. If you'd like to buy one of my Duckman Cycles t-shirts, that's right. I used a new vendor that didn't copyright strike me for using my own logo. I had so many problems with the other vendor, it just, it pissed me off. I was sending them their appeal forms, going and jumping through their hoops the way they wanted things done. And it's been more than a week now and they still haven't res responded. They haven't even acknowledged that they received my appeal. So at this point, I cut them off and I used a different provider. And I actually like this new provider much better, much better. Shipping is, is better, it's cheaper, it makes more sense. Uh, if you put more items into your shopping cart, if you buy multiple things, they give you bulk discounts and they give you bulk shipping rates. When you hit so many items, they stop charging you for shipping. Whatever it, it's capped out at, that's it. There's no more charges for shipping. And I don't know if it's still running right now by the time you see this video, but there's actually a $5 off coupon and uh, it's, it's um, sunny summer and all capital letters with no spaces. You can put that in as the coupon discount. It might work. It might not by the time you see this video. I hope it will. I really hope it works for you. If it doesn't, I'm really sorry, guys. But um, install those little plugins that give you all those little um, 
uh, coupons that you can find on the internet for for that website they're pretty good about um, utilizing those things so you might save yourself a couple bucks at the same time and i don't think it comes off my bottom line either so <laughs> so thanks you guys i really do appreciate it. if you purchase some merch we'll go from there and uh we'll see what happens i'd love to see some of the merchant videos and right now for the time being if you buy a duckman cycles t-shirt or, or a skeeter the duck t-shirt any one of the t-shirts that i'm selling if you wear it in one of your videos and you talk about me and the shirt i'll be glad to um send you a free sticker i'm still waiting for my stickers to come to me so there's still going to be a delay on that but again that's a story for another time that's because i wasn't in charge of the stickers i was having somebody else do it and I've been nice for way too long, but yeah, that's just a story for the midday Q&A. And I think we'll save that for, for later this week. Anyways, guys, as always, like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. And we'll be back right after the intro. <laughs>to admit that looks like i just absolutely friggin murdered it <laughs> but um no i can now get under here and weld this in weld in up on the top here make the patch for this corner weld that in then we'll fold all the pieces back to the way they belong and this thing will be probably stronger than it ever was with uh this nice box in here and all the welds that are all the way around it up top we won't have to make as big of a mess but down here yep that's what we're going to do and if this works out i think we'll do the same thing on the other side too all right let me keep on at it here. Yep, what a friggin' mess that turned out to be. <laughs>
All right, well, I think that turned out very, very nice. There's still a couple of pinholes here in this corner that for some reason I missed while I was welding, and there's one up on top there. Uh, other than that, this uh, looks pretty good. The reason why it looks so creamy and white is because I invited my friend in a bottle to come join me. That's right, a little bit of phosphoric acid goes a long way. Wanted to treat that up in case it should get wet, because once again, it looks like it's going to rain. And I'm supposed to be out tonight in the Fastback going to a Volkswagen club meeting. Uh, we'll see if that happens. I'm still going no matter what, but Volkswagen may not go if it rains. Wipers don't work. It sucks, but you gotta deal with it. But anyway, that pocket is uh, effectively done. It's welded on the inside, it's welded on the outside. It's welded around the inside of the A-pillar here where I folded everything around. And even though it looked completely flayed, I mean, I dissected that thing. <laughs> Split it open like your sixth grade frog project. It turned out uh, really nice in the end. Unlike the frog, you can't put it back together. Even your wood shop projects, you know, once you cut the wood, you're, you're fucked. But when it comes to metal, you can grow metal. And that's what I did. So that turned out pretty good. Well, we gotta do the same thing to the top side, but we're running out of time for today. So this is gonna be another miscellaneous welding video to try to get that finished up and squared away. It'll probably happen tomorrow, unless I get buried in work. We'll just have to see how that turns out. Today I brought out the tent and helped to keep the sun off of me while I was welding on the door, but uh, it certainly didn't do any good for me um, if it should start to rain. But anyway, well, that's it for today. Thanks for watching, you guys. Don't forget duckshit.net for all my different social media links. Also, go there so you can find all my different merch accounts. I got shirts. This one isn't one of them. My shirts are actually here. I have to go pick them up from my mailbox. They showed up just today. 
So I'm going to go picking them up. In the next video you see me recording, I'm going to be wearing them. So make sure you hit up duckshit.net forward slash store. I'll put it right here on the bottom. You can also click on the link in the video description or it'll be in the first pinned comment if you want to see my merch. And I've got several different designs up there. I've got one for Eleanor, one with the Duckman Cycles VW Garage logo, one for... <laughs> I want to be like the duck man when I grow up. So if you got some kids, you know, or a younger generation that is, is into watching me. And the last one is for Skeeter the Duck. And I might have even said that already. I don't even know anymore. But <laughs> I'm just really tired and it's extremely hot out here. And I can't wait to get inside, have a shower, have something to eat. And uh, well, I was going to say have a drink, but I already did that. And I I've noticed that the only time that I break out that blue cup is when you guys are watching. Just, uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I Finally finished that bottle of rum that you might remember that I poured drinks with on Christmas. And here it is, you know, we're halfway through June, so seven and a half months later. And I've shared it, by the way. I haven't drank alone every single time. But that bottle just finally went, so I lost that, that whole thing. It's all used up. I'm going to have to buy me a new one. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. By the way, don't send me alcohol in the mail. It's illegal. Don't do it. If you do it by FedEx or UPS, you can. But make sure you sign their documents. They have an affidavit and crap that you, they make you sign for it. It's stupid, but that's the way they do it. So anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. We'll see you next time. Probably going to be doing some more welding. Maybe we'll be putting the front end on the car. We'll just see how it goes. Thanks for watching.